Hello, gamer nom is back, and you are about to witness a new pro video of the new reworked spike fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code gamer nom when purchasing your Robux. Five percent of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos for each and every one of us. Where the actors slam on their dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk. All right, so before we start, let me apologize for this noob because he is about to eat a fruit that has spikes. So my question is, did it hurt? Yeah. I'm just joking. Guys, let me show you the previous spike fruit. It has two skills, the rush and the spiky ball. Now guys, comparing it to the new spike fruit, it has four skills. So starting off with the first skill, the spike summon. I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is. There are two ways to use it. First is to hold and have a wider range of attack there you go or just tap it and release the attack faster but with a shorter range okay so let's compare it to the previous skill the rush here's the rush if you're gonna ask me what is better for grinding this z skill or this c skill the spike summon guys i will choose the rush do you agree if you don't comment comment section if yes comment it on the comment section Next island is the jungle, so our target is the gorillas. Okay, so we're just gonna use our Z skill. I suggest just using the tap because there is not much difference in the damage. I think the reason why there is a higher damage and holding it because maybe when you hold it, there are more spikes and there is a higher chance that you might damage it more, right? Okay, so at level 20, you can start defeating the gorilla king. So guys, when using the Z skill, you might push it towards you. So after using your skill, dash to the other side of the high ground to avoid getting damage. There you go. Again, we're gonna use our Z skill. And again, he will be pushed towards you, so dash to the side. Guys, when we defeat this, I think I will be grinding masteries on a different mob. Because I wanna focus on getting the next skill because I really don't like the spike summon. So we're heading to the marine fortress and start luring chief petty officers. Guys, be extra cautious because if they hit you just twice, you will die, okay? So technique here is lure 4, right? Okay, use your Z skills to make things easier. Just jump on the roof and keep on using your Z skill. And just by defeating 4 of them, we will gain 9 levels and 19 masteries. Which means we will unlock our X skill, the Whirlwind. Now let's head to the Pirate Village and try our new skill. Mm, let's try it on the Pirates. Guys, check this out. This is the new X skill, the Whirlwind. Okay, not that bad. So guys, with this combo, I think we can move forward. So at level 55, you can start defeating Bobby the Clown. Again, 55. So let's check it out. Z skill, X skill. Okay, and after that, check the Z skill. Almost cooldown. Another Z skill. There you go. And let's check the HP. There, oh, one fourth, guys. One fourth damage. So keep on doing that until you defeat the clown okay so i think our fruit is getting better now what i did here is i started doing server hop until i reached level 60. So shout out to this dude there you go his name is uh this one ronaldo <laughs> he helped me defeat bobby the clown a barrier fruit user Moving on, our next island is the desert and our target is the desert bandits. Guys, last three masteries and we will unlock our C skill, the spiky ball. And if you're wondering, yes, we're gonna compare it. Here you go guys, the spiky ball. Comparing it to the previous one, here it is. So gamer, which is better? I think they're almost the same mm, in terms of damage. But if you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna choose the new one. Okay, the new spiky ball because it looks better. So guys, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 75. And next mob is the Desert Officers. So guys, now we have three skills, the Z, X, and C skill. So we're gonna keep grinding here until we reach level 90. Next island is the Frozen Village. So guys, we won't be unlocking our final skill here. So let's make it fast, okay? Target is the Snow Bandits, same strategy. Use all your skills. There you go, dodge, wait for it to cool down. At 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. And they start doing server hop okay so gamer number we're gonna server hop what is our target level i decided to leave this area at level 131 and that is enough to unlock our final skill so next island the marine fortress and we're gonna use our final skill the spike barrage on this boss unfortunately if you cast your skill here in this area the skill won't appear 
see that guys again so to be able to see it i lured the boss outside there you go and this is the spike barrage okay so we've unlocked all the skills and now we're gonna focus on grinding we're gonna grind here until we reach level 220 things will be faster now guys next island is the prison so we have three bosses here the warden the chief warden and this one so technique will be the same Wall strat is the key you can use your z x c and v skill to damage your enemies there you go again this mobs or bosses cannot damage you as long as there is a wall in between you even if the chief warden is a very long sword okay okay at 240 you can start defeating this one but guys you need to create distance when using your skills because check that out he can damage you oh and shout out to this dude demon so at first i thought he's gonna attack me but he just wanted to help me defeat this one so in the end he helped me okay shout out to you guys we're gonna do server hop here on all three bosses until 350 next island is the magma village and check that out an electric claw user so sam was doing pvp here we all know what's next i will get oofed here <laughs> So why are they even fighting here in the first sea? I don't know. Maybe because of a fruit. So I started watching them. Yes, he enabled his PvP. And the other one, I think, or I think this one is... There go, a quick fruit user. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on our uh, grinding journey. So again, Magma Admirals are enemy. I'm gonna defeat this one's same strategy. We're gonna use all our skills. And while waiting for the cooldown, we're gonna dodge his skills. Now guys, I have a question. What fruits should I grind next? Hmm, I've been grinding fruits for I think two weeks now. So should I grind the smoke fruit? Uh, it has a very good F skill now. And we already saw it. How about the gravity fruit? You can now control the V skill, yes, where the meteors will fall. Or the phoenix fruit. I've seen the new transformation. It looks better, but this is smaller. Last thing guys, we're gonna do server hop here again until we reach level 425 okay heading on to the next island the underwater city again guys server hop is our friend in the first sea i'm telling you that is the fastest way to grind so fishman lord just lure him here outside wall strat and that's it okay again server hop until you reach level 500 next island it's a skylands again another server hop strategy whisper stone strat go here he cannot hit you and that's it Okay, the only technique, the best technique here, guys, be patient. Okay, that's it. Target level 625. And after that, we are leaving this area. Yes, we're gonna skip the Thunder God and head to the Fountain City. There you go. And start defeating the Gali Pirates. You guys, it's kind of hard for me because I did not unlock the Observation Hockey. So I suggest if you wanna move forward to the second sea, unlock it first. Okay? So guys, we're gonna stay here until we reach level 700. But I know you're gonna ask me, Gamer Nom, why didn't you defeat Cyborg? Yes, if you want, you can defeat the Cyborg. If you want the cool glasses, go for it. But guys, if you're just here to grind or level, guys, I don't suggest it. Check my HP and my energy. I almost died, but I was able to defeat him. So guys, again, that's it for this video. Please help me decide on what fruit should I grind next. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!